I've been looking for an app where I can save the movies I want to watch, the books that I've read, TV shows, and more all in one place. And one of my favorite apps just got a big update to version 4, which is the app Sofa. And it's now become the go-to place to log everything from movies, books, audiobooks, games, and more. It's now packed with a ton of features. It's visually super appealing. I'm going to walk you through how I use it as my ultimate media library. Now this video is not sponsored by Sofa or anything like that, but it's just an app that I really love. And I'm trying something new here on the channel, which is doing really deep dives into a single app. Maybe if there's a major update or just a new app for productivity or entertainment. I've done lots of videos in the past of like 42 widgets and dozens of apps that you should try, but want to try this feeling of looking at a single app in depth. And so if you have one that was recently updated or a favorite app you'd like me to review here on the channel, leave comments below this video and love to do those in the future as well. So first off, what is the Sofa app? I have a custom icon right here. I'll show you those in a moment. But Sofa is a place where you can log books you want to read or have read, movies you want to watch or have watched, and there's categories for audiobooks, music albums, apps, video games, and more. And typically, I like to do two things. Keep track of the books that I've read and have a place where I save movies that I have watched and want to watch, either with my family, with my spouse, or maybe it's something I know just I will like. And there's some new features here in the Sofa app, like ingredients and categories, that make that kind of filtering super useful. So you start out with some stock lists, like movies and shows to watch. So if I go there, you can pin items to the top of the list, and I have movies and shows here that I maybe want to watch or have watched. Now let's say I want to add something to the list. Well, I can hit the plus button here at the bottom right corner and search for movies. And this works with both movies or TV shows. A lot of people have been telling me about Constellation on Apple TV+, Plus, so I'm going to add that TV show to my list. So you can see it's now added here, which is great for reference, but I'm going to hit the three dots and there's a bunch of options per item. I can pin this item to the top of the list. Maybe this is something I really want to see soon. As you can tell, I really like space. But if I go to that three dot menu again, I can add a sticky note, just adding some text or description about this item. I can move it to a different list, copy it, and even copy a deep link. I can show you how to use that and some shortcuts actions. Yes, Sofa has a ton of shortcuts actions as well, but we will get to that. I can go into a specific item like Constellation as well. I can add it to the logbook, which is where you put movies that you have seen or shows you have seen, books you've read. We'll go to that in a second. You get a description of the movie or TV show there. You can see when it first aired, how many seasons, what network it's on. And you can do things like add tags and ratings. I'm going to show you that in a second because that gets really powerful for creating smart lists. Also, you can see where to watch this. Now, this is just Apple TV+. Plus, But if I go to a movie like The Martian, then I can scroll down. You'll see the release date, the runtime, and where to enjoy it. You can get direct links to this movie on all the different platforms. Now, if you tap any of these destinations on the where to enjoy section, even like Apple TV, it's actually going to send you to the just watch result. This is powered by the movie database, which is also what powers Casey Liss's call sheet app. Great app for looking up cast and crew and movies. And then you can see where it's available for rent or streaming. Now, once I've seen a movie, I can choose to add it to my logbook. And then I have a running list of all the shows, movies, and books that I've consumed. So here's my logbook. And for my logbook, it will actually put movies, books, and all those other categories in one place. Now, some of these I've read long ago, but I recently added them. And if I wanted to change the date on something, maybe I know I read this book years ago. I can change the date, managing the metadata on your stuff and library. If you were one of those people doing it in iTunes for your music, let me know. But I know I read this a long time ago. Uh, let me just put 2012 here. And then I can change when I read or watched that thing. And you also get lots of information for books that you read, like this book Traffic. You can see the release date, the author, you can tag it. You can also do recommended by. So if you want to put details on where you heard about something, whether it's a movie or book, you could put that there. And again, add tags. So when it comes to ingredients for different items, I'm going to go back to the home screen of Sofa, hit the three dot menu in the top right, and you'll see here categories and ingredients. Categories is pretty standard. You can turn on or off any of these. You can do apps to try, audiobooks, music albums, and even create your own custom categories, which is pretty cool. But one of the newer features, and I love, is this ingredients section. If you go to ingredients, you can customize specific tags. You see here I have family, spouse, and me. And you can also customize the recommended by section and the rating. This rating thing is specifically funny to me because most ratings are on like a five-star rating. But Sofa also lets you do this thumbs up, thumbs down, or heart. Now, this might be controversial, but I think this is actually a better rating than the five-star rating. Think about any movie, TV show, or book. If you just think, would I give it a thumbs down, a thumbs up, or a heart, or maybe two thumbs up, everything pretty much shuffles into one of those three categories. So I like this simplicity. I'm down for the three rating style. 
but I really enjoy using these tags for family, spouse, and me. The reason why is if we go back to the movies and shows we want to watch, maybe Constellation is something that I'll watch with my spouse, but I know I'm not going to be watching this with my kids. I'm going to add a tag there and I'll do the spouse tag. But maybe there's a movie like The Martian. My family, we like watching space movies like Interstellar, The Martian, things like that. And so I've tagged this one as family. Now that I've created those tags and applied them to different movies and shows, I can create a smart list within Sofa. So if I hit this plus button in the top left, I can do a new smart list. And now you can filter by date, by category, whether it's in the logbook. And we want to do category is movie. And the ingredient filters will do tags. And that's just going to be tagged as family. Then I can create this list. And then down here, you can rearrange these lists. And I created this family movies to watch. And in this list are movies that are going to be for the whole family. So it's tagged as family and it's in my to watch category. Pinned items still stay up at the top, which is pretty cool. You can add a custom image to the top of each smart list like that, which just design wise, it looks great. Then when it's the weekend and the family's ready to watch a movie, I can go to this one place and just see what movies we have on deck. And now there's no trying to remember what was it that we were going to watch. And just a side note, there's also powerful widgets for the Sofa app. And so I have my family movies to watch as a widget and I can just quickly see what movies I have listed there. This is great to put like in a smart stack and maybe on the home screen that shows up just during my weekend focus mode. I know that underneath this weather smart stack are the movies that we plan to watch with the family and I can quickly see it there. Absolutely love these smart lists, which then you can also create groups. So if I hit the plus button in the top left corner, I can choose to create a new group and you'll see here I've created a history group and an up next group. So up next are those smart lists where I have movies that we're going to watch. And then in my history group, these are books that I've read and movies watched. So if I go to books read, this smart list, again, I added a custom image, which you can actually pull them from Unsplash. Again, a really cool little feature. If you want, you can hide the cover image if you just want to see more of the books. See, there's a link to Unsplash right here. So you could search, find royalty-free images of books, and then add one of those as the custom image to the smart list. Love all those little design touches throughout the app. You can also search throughout the books that you've read. If you're wondering, did I read Creativity Inc? And if I start searching for the word, you'll see that came up. And also Creative Selection, a book by Ken Cassienda, who was in the development of the iPhone and iPad software keyboard. I read that book. And if I go there, I could see the date and year that I read that book, see the description. And I can even jump to that book in Apple Books if I'd like. And I also have lists here up at the top, like books to read. Maybe I'm in the process of reading them or just ones that I want to read soon. That's in my books to read section. I have some apps to check out. I already know all these apps. I just kind of put those in here for reference. And even things to listen to. You can put things like music soundtracks and albums or podcasts. I'll save it here in the things to listen to. So they're all in one place. You can also choose what sections appear here at the top. I have my logbook of things that I've marked as read and watched and the pin items that I really want to watch next. Sofa also added a bunch of customizations here in the settings for the app. I am a Super Sofa subscriber. I'll show you the difference of that in a minute. There's a bunch of fiddly things you can do, like whether or not you see a home screen, where you want the big plus button for adding books and movies, how you want your pinned list to appear. You can also enable something called the pile, which is just throwing random books and podcasts, just a bunch of links that you can organize later. I like to organize as I go, so I turn the pile off. Pinned items, logbook, again, a bunch of options there in the fiddly stuff. There's also a ton of themes, which I really love. So if you want to try different colors, different styles for the app, Lots of themes to try there. And so many app icons. Look at these app icons. So many. Yes, I went with the old school VHS because nostalgia. But look, all these different custom app icons for Sofa. Very cool. You can also export all of your data from the Sofa app as plain text or a spreadsheet. And you can also import a Sofa backup if you need. You can manually back it up. But this also does sync via iCloud. So you can have the Sofa app on multiple devices and all your data will sync. And before I show you some shortcuts, even things in like games to play, you can add video games or board games, which is pretty cool. And for a video game like StarCraft, if you play this in high school like I did, let me know. You can see the release date, which was literally last millennium. But anyway, you can do things like search Twitch for this game and see live streams of that game in just a few seconds. So, so pretty cool feature, especially for those video game things. And I do like adding some board games here. If we're doing a family game night, maybe we forgot what board games we have or wanted to play you can save those here as well. So these are even more custom settings and features within the app. But real quick, I want to show you the widgets. I showed you the long widget there, but there's actually multiple sofa widgets you can get. You can choose to do a custom list, like one of your smart lists as the square or the longer widget. You can even do a full page widget if you'd like. You can also do your pinned items as a square, long and big. 
Again, a great one to use on like an evening home screen or the weekend home screen. So not only do you have widgets, but like I mentioned, the shortcuts actions for a sofa is wild. These are great actions to use like in a shortcuts menu. So you can quickly add something. Maybe you want to add it quickly to the logbook. Maybe it's a podcast you listen to, or you just want to jump to a specific list. Look at all these actions. You can quickly add a website or URL to a list. So you can almost use that as a read it later service as well. For instance, maybe I would create a menu and I can have different ad movies, ad books, actions. So if I do ad movie or TV show, I'll press play and it jumps me over to the sofa app automatically searching for that movie or TV show. You can quickly jump to certain lists. And if you want it to be really extra, you can choose the add manual item to list, which then basically asks you to specify every category. But you could combine this with the built-in iTunes library actions. So I could start with the find on iTunes. I'll have it ask for input every time. You could choose what category to search for. I'm going to choose movies. And then you can choose to get details of iTunes product. I'll put that as the second action. And you could choose all these different things. I'm going to select the artwork, but you can also add lots of variables for all the different things. I'll duplicate it and just get the title for reference. So we'll choose get name. And then in the add manual section, I can actually give it a link for the artwork. So I'll do the artwork URL there. And that's going to add this item to my list. So, and it might take some fiddling, but you can quickly add movies directly from the iTunes store, search for audiobooks that way, and add them to a list with the image, the artwork title, and all of that. So if you were looking for a way to keep track of your movies, TV shows, books, and more, I highly recommend the Sofa app. One thing I do wish is that you could share lists and collaborate with family members. There was a shared list beta before, but it's not in version four. So that's the only thing I would love to have, share it with my wife or even my kids, so they can see what movies we have on the list and browse. But as an app just for keeping track of all this stuff in one place, stuff you've watched and read, and things you want to watch and read, I love it. And I know there's other options like Letterboxd or Letterboxd, but I feel a lot of pressure to like have to write reviews and rate the things, and I just want to keep track of the stuff in a simple app, and this is beautifully designed. You can customize the visuals. I love it. So I'll put a link to Download Sofa in the video description, and if you're curious about pricing, you can use it just for free forever. You do get groups and lists. You can add basically anything. You get the iCloud syncing and logbook. But if you like certain things like these ingredients, like the family, me, and spouse tags that I use, pinned lists and items or filters for logbook, that is a $3.99 build monthly. But the app is doing a 40% off the annual plan during this launch event for version four. So again, link is down in the description if you want to try it out. But let me know if you have questions about Sofa or if there's an app you'd like me to review in depth here on the channel, leave those comments below as well. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. And since I showed shortcuts in this video, if you're looking for more shortcuts, check out this playlist here where I have tons and tons of shortcuts. And YouTube really thinks you would enjoy this recent video, so you should check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.